All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to a little game. I don't know if you've heard of it called Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. But today we've got some challenges. These are the pirate challenges. We have all the pirate units, and we're gonna be versing all of the factions in the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator universe. So this one we're given $2,900, and I can get anything I want. You know what? Pirate Queen. So the Pirate Queen, is she looks like a Cyclops, but the other eye, I guess, is patched or something like that. She's got twin swords. She's apparently an amazing melee specialist. And check this out. I love this. After each... <laughs> this explains it all for the pirates. Or I guess just tabs in general. But after each shot, they lose their pistol. And apparently their pistols are not very good because this guy took two to four different pistol rounds. But the amazing thing about the Pirate Queen is let's see if she does it. She'll spin around, drop her grenades, and jump up in the air. So we're gonna have to be relying on these amazing talents to deal with the enemy. But we've got a lot of melee specialists here. Oh my God, a bone mage. If we can survive this, oh yeah, we've got this. <laughs> oh my God, the Pirate Queen. Come on, lady, do it. Stab them, right? Right in the gamma. Now, I wonder what the blast radius is. Well, there you go. That answers that. What's the blast radius for a standard pirate Gronadsky? Whoa! Uh... Is this for real? Is this intentional? We've got a giant chieftain. I... I I've never seen a giant chieftain before. Another small tribe, yet it's led by a giant. Well, against my better judgment, I want to try a rifle line. Of... Blunderbusses. <laughs> They've got pretty impressive armor. And <laughs> this guy's just taking a few flintlock pistols to the face. Uh, and after they fire, they, they jump over. So I guess that's when they're vulnerable. Look at the chieftain trying to hit him. He's too tall. He doesn't know how to use his arms. And as a result, he <laughs> was easily dispatched. As well as he got hit by a spear from his own team. But I'm thinking, and it seems to be working out, that the ancient faction, or tribal faction, why do I always get them? Because the cavemen were alive an ancient time ago. But the tribal faction here, they've got spears, but we've got wooden armor, and as you can see, it's pretty good at withstanding the pointy tips of these. And you know what? Honestly, so the pirate faction seem to be ranged specialists. They love their ranged weaponry, and the blunderbuss clearly has an AOE. It is the old world's shotgun, right? This was able to take out two of them in one hit. All right, so we're gonna have a charge over here, but we also, we have to withstand a charge, and then we've got three ranged units that will stand back. Hmm, and we can't buy a pirate queen. So when you got a bridge, <laughs> I love this. It's almost like a Mexican standoff. <laughs> but if you are a hobbit at this height, this is what you're looking at. Yeah, that that does that looks a little bit scary. Uh, flintlock pistols pointed straight at your face. Oh yeah, I forgot that they got the leaping abilities. But basically what we've got is we got some bomb throwers, but we invested in a $1,000 cannon. And I'm hoping, oh my god, the grenades did fantastic work clearing out the bridge. We even got these guys still alive. But this Mr. Man, Mr. Man thing, he's got crows. And crows are dangerous. Oh my god, they took out my freaking cannon! Wait. Oh, I've got dizzy. We did this a little bit late. There we go. I took him out. If I can just survive long enough and these crows don't hurt me. I, I am... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot. Well, this is my life. I've turned purple. I'm pooping out strawberry jams and I'm farting. So, life could be better. Well, if you want something done, do it yourself. Take command of the cannons. Uh. I got him. Oh my goodness, I got him. Wait, I didn't want to take control of this guy. <laughs> That's awesome! Okay, well I got him and I think there's one left, so let's go ahead and just just stop. Just stop. Where are they alive? Alright, I think he's over here. Let's reposition. I feel like Napoleon with his artillery pieces. Where is that guy dead? I guess so. It, what is wrong with the potion throwers? There we go. We got him. Okay. So if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. I believe it. Alright, so with this, mmm. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. 
and some bomb throwers right behind him. And then we're gonna encounter these guys, so I'm thinking, uh, one, two, three, four. We'll have a blunderbuss in the front to distract them. And then one flintlock guy as well to distract them. Okay, so the idea here is that our harpoons are gonna take these guys, and then the bomb throwers are gonna get easy shots. Let's see. Oh, that actually did the reverse thing of what I wanted. <laughs> Why are you shooting the harpoons in the air? I think we just broke the game or we're trying to create like a stairway to heaven, but more like a rope bridge. All right, harpoons, what do you got? Are you gonna be able to- I want to see harpoons versus these uh, chariots. You know what? After this mission, when we complete it, hopefully- Oh my god. Oh, my guys are getting riggedy riggedy wrecked. We've got one guy left. And yeah, he's not doing well. Okay, so what I wanted to see was wheelbarrows <laughs> versus harpoons. Oh my god, the harpoons just don't work with the wheelbarrows. Okay, that's the issue. Alright, so we broke the game, and I would expect nothing less. So this challenge is called Run Them Over. How am I gonna run them over? Well, we might as well use their best unit, at least of the official ones. We're not gonna count the secret units. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It looks like... Wait, the Pirate Queen probably will get dispatched relatively quickly if she takes too many of the scythes from the harvester. Okay, it almost looks like all the pirates are dead, and then you realize that these guys will fall over, and then they'll get right back up. Come on, stab them. Don't hold the sword between your legs. That's just not how you do it. Okay, the grenades are out, and there we go, that cleaned house. Um, I think there's one harvester left, and then there's one of the big derp guys that, I don't know, I'm gonna call him Forrest Gump, because he's tall and he's derpy, right? Okay, Forrest Gump. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you have been found wanting. But now we are on the medieval times. Well, let's see. We've got a few knights here that are gonna be guarded, so what I wanna do is distract them long enough for the cannons and the grenades. Who threw their grenades backwards? Someone explain to me who thought that was a good idea. Oh my god, I think, I think I'm gonna need to take command again. Oh, I missed! I missed. This is gonna be bad because he's gonna be charging me. And we've got archers coming. There we go, we spilled them over. Okay, I need a, I need a couple more guys alive. What? It's a freaking ambush! There we go. D just don't kill my cannon, boys. Oh, I got one of them. I, I can kind of move laterally, but not well enough. Okay, now what if the grenades just didn't work? I'm gonna put two cannons and then a bunch of blunder buses. All right, and I'm gonna take command of the cannon because it's awesome. Third person cannons. I hit my own guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am the worst cannon man. Maybe. Maybe, but maybe not. Yes! Oh, I missed. Okay, I should probably be aiming for the archers who are bunched up back there. Yeah, it's like bowling, man. Guys, watch out on your flank, please. Yes! Okay, this is working. This is working. Dude, this is glorious. Okay. Charge! I need a bayonet on my cannon. Oh my god, I missed. Probably because I, sh I should have waited to stabilize. Whoa! Okay, the musket did go off. See, look at this. I thought he died, but that's because he jumped over. Okay, so what happened to the knights? One of the priests fell. Do you think their bodies are in the water? Yes, they are. I feel like barrels should be given. I would love to see tabs take physics to the next level. Okay, we've got a very big army. Blunderbusses versus these guys. All right, we're really relying on these guys not to be destroyed by the catapult. Which one is he aiming at? Oh my god! <laughs> these guys are so good against archers. There we go, we broke it. Okay, uh, and we left our melee- Get off my back, man! <laughs> okay, uh, that's just the uh, pirate queen flying up into the air. She's doing a pretty good job fighting these three kings until she just got absolutely wrecked from behind. Okay. Watch out for the sword! Oh, snap, that hurt. He's dead. Okay, maybe what I need to do is I need to take command of both of these guys. All right, I hit that. I need to hit it again. What's my range on this thing? It's clearly not good enough. I think we won the battle on both flanks. Oh, wow. See, all I did was aim on this side this time, and now there's just one king alive. How on earth did it just... Where's the, where's the pirate queen? There she is, okay. Redbeard. Got the finishing blow, it looks like. We had twin red beards, by the way, the red beard twins. Ooh. Harpoons. For the memes. What happens? Well, <laughs> they pull the shields away. So that's kinda good. Alright, we need something to get the Minotaur 
but the Minotaur is really good at just like uh, wrecking house melee style. They've got snake archers back there, and they're eating up everybody, but with the Minotaur still alive. See, the one issue that the pirates don't have is, other than the pirate queen, they don't really have a melee specialist. There's no just regular pirate with a sword. All right, here we go. A lot of distraction forces. Come and get it, big boy! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's pushing everybody! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Okay, there's snakes biting at my ankles, man. Oh! Ouch! Don't do it! Oh my god, this is rough. Oh wait, we do have the pirate queen still alive. She's gonna have to fight the minotaur after she dispatches, hopefully, all three. Oh my god, she just dodged the Minotaur's attack. She just dropped her grenades and boom, boys! I think in the air she got a sword stab off? Oh, now we got Zeus. Bless us and save us, Zeusio Davis. I went pretty close. These guys never do a lot of damage anyway. I wonder if they're supposed to not do damage. A lot of damage. I guess they are the cheapest unit, right? And if they're the peasant unit, despite the fact that they have black powder weapons. But the idea was that all those units are distracting and the grenades, oh my god, it was beautiful! The grenades are supposed to do all the work. So there's Zeus taking a bunch of grenades around his ankles. His health has definitely been upped. And he's taken some, uh, oh my god. He can't, he shouldn't be able to survive that. He is surviving that! He is dancing all over the battlefield! Somebody stop him. Okay, gentlemen, charge! I think that one's taken out, so look at that. Oh, that one worked. Okay, the Greeks, they have a, 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 an affinity for losing to black powder. Now, the Vikings, they're gonna be difficult. This is a lot of units that jump around, and I know what you're thinking. What's the best way to stop jumping around units? Well, maybe harpoons. Let's see if we can harpoon them in the air. Okay, that looked like a lot of missed harpoon shots. I'm not sure if we have anything, but that's what we're gonna be attempting to do. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, see, I think that's the point, right? The- the Viking- oh my god! How do you do that? They still wrecked us? Well... Hmm. Blunderbuss line. Distraction force. Bomb throwers. Okay. The blunderbusses, I'm treating them almost like they're the Renaissance Musketoons. Uh, the Musketeers. <laughs> Musketoons. Oh my god, so they all got these shots off, but how many of the Berserkers are actually dead? I'm really happy that our guys are able to withstand a lot more shots, but it seems like if you want to have a victory with the pirate faction, the one unit you almost need to bring is the dude that looks like he came right out of a freaking barrel, because he probably did. There's probably some delicious grog in there, and he wanted it. Okay. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's fun. Imagine if Tabs was multiplayer for a moment, just for a moment, and we all had control of this derpy dude. I guess that was kind of like Tab G. Okay. Arrow and arrow. So they made a bow and arrow, and the arrow's pointing the wrong way, I think, right? Are there any other secret units? Like hiding? I, I mean, units that are hiding around. I wonder if any of these maps have been changed, given the different updates. Okay. So it's a bunch of melee specialists and a bunch of range specialists over here. Then I want to do... And we'll have one harpooner. Because, you know what, let's change up the unit composition here, boys! Fire the harpoons! Hopefully those grenades do something to those shield guys, but... What we need here is you to focus on what matters! Wrecking ice archers, because ice archers will slow us down, they're really mean. Don't aim at me! Don't even look at me! Oh, Granatskis are working! Charge! <laughs> How did I miss?! <laughs> The harpoon guy is actually really good when he's protected. We need to keep that in mind. I was just about to say, when are we gonna encounter the Monkey King? Okay. Hmm. Lots of ninjas, lots of samurai. What if I just tried this? I'm trying this. Two bomb throwers. It, I, I don't expect it to work, but you never really know. Okay, bombs away. Did that one just bounce off her shoulder? Oh my god, those are brilliant throws. Oh yeah, they blocked them! The samurai blocked the bombs, duh. But, will they block the grenade rain? Where's the grenade rain? You need to survive long enough to get the grenade rain. There it is. Ooh! Alright, it's like synchronized dancing. But instead of dancing, you're throwing explosives at your enemies! Oh my god. Somehow, this worked very well. Oh, okay, I need those bombs to kill the ninjas, but they didn't. Only one died from it. Oh my goodness, hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Look at how far I threw. All right. Yes! How did that not kill you? 
You scurvy son of a biscuit. I've got to drop them. No! Yeah, no! <laughs> oh, man, it was a defeat. Okay, we tried it. It just didn't work. Maybe one of them. And then these guys. And some harpoons, because... Oh, harpoons over the death pit would be interesting. All right, let's try this. I, I've never... There's a few units I don't seem to use a lot, and the cannons are one of them. My god! Okay, samurai blocked the harpoons. I guess we should have encountered that or expected that. Whoa, Monkey King clones! I can't see anything! Oh, no, I'm drowning! Okay, but what I was saying earlier, I just remembered it. So, the Monkey King's dead. Okay, nice. These guys are doing well at withstanding the ninja, uh, the ninja's body armor. Excuse me, the ninja's fire rate, and there you go, there's a victory. But what I was saying was like, okay, when you look at this unit, right? Imagine that the physics is no longer just the character's movement and stuff like that, but what if like, since he's wearing wood, he can float? Or if you're wearing like, balloons and stuff, you can fly and stuff like that. And that's kind of in the game, but it'd be really, uh-oh. Watch out for the hole, indeed. All right, we got firework archers. Hmm. I don't know if I have anything that blocks. I don't know how we're supposed to defeat this. Maybe, can, like, putting all of- Oh, man. I forgot that the ninjas are over here. There's fireworks just sending all of my units into the stratosphere. So we gotta go get them. Yeah! All right. Now we got these two. If I hide behind one, maybe- Yeah! Melee is so weird. Like, it's not like Mountain Blade-style fighting mechanics, although that would be pretty dope, but... You know, I guess that's the price for physics. I'm the last one alive, and all the fireworks are coming over here. My health is relatively decent, but when you consider how many units are still there to try to fight me... Get out of here! How are you alive? Oh my god, she stuck me point-blank? Oh, okay. Oh my god, right in my head! Look at my head! This is terrible. All right, I did the grenade thing and I did the jump. Maybe that's why I need to do... That's got a relative... Oh, one fell in the hole. Serpentine, boys. Serpentine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can I... Why is it saying... Am I out of that... Oh, oh come on. I'm, I've almost done it. I've almost done it! Get in the pit, you dirty swine! Yes! Okay. So, although it's weird, the pirate queen is fantastic. We got people on horses. We got painters who blo who will dodge. Hmm. Well, Pirate Queen versus you. Blunderbusses versus everybody else. With one harpooner. Okay, let's see how we do. So the Pirate Queen has to do her little grenade abilities. The harpoon decided to go for this guy who broke it? What's up with that? <laughs> this guy is flying. <laughs> yes! Okay. Uh, who's still alive? We got the jousters over there. Oh, man. The balloon archers. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my- What?! He just harpooned the pirate queen. Okay, I think we have a chance. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Why are you harpooning your friends? To keep them on the ground? There we go. Some grenades out to dispatch those balloon archers. This one has two bows. Is he dual wielding? Oh! Get taken over there. I I'm surprised there's not a Mortal Kombat mod yet. Given that we have freezing arrows and harpoons, we could easily get, um, just off the top of my head, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Raiden, because Raiden's the Lightning King. Look at this, man. We're just rolling through this. They can't do nothing about it. Boom! And the units go down. Okay. Boom, and the units go down, you say? Blunderbuss! Supported by a few grenades at the back. So let's see. We've got to watch out for their muskets. But the fencers... Oh, oh, the first line of fencers was taken out. I lost two bombers? No, one bomber to the muskets in the back. Hmm. And now, and the halberds are fantastic damage dealers to the unit that I've been relying on this whole time. This woody man. I don't expect this strategy to work, but it's a bunch of peasants and two cannons. Oh! I missed my first shot. The cannon reload's pretty good. I need to aim for the muskets. They've got incredible range, though, remember? All right, I've got two of them down. Oh, wait, this is actually working. Oh my god. All right, there's a few muskets left. Two left! I'm just gonna let this guy do his thing. Because this guy with Mr. Longneck... How are you over here? <laughs> he's, he's gonna survive! He's going to survive! <laughs> oh, never mind. 
<laughs> Longneck got smashed by his own friendly cannon. Oh, if that's just not tabs, I don't know what it is. Yar! Thank you for playing through the pirate campaign. Well, we've got some other challenges. This one's called the Big Brawl, and I want to show off some of the other pirate units. So, these guys are bombs on a stick. And then we'll have three clam guys, because you know what? They're clam guys. They're carrying clams. It's just the silliest unit. I don't know how they came up with this. And the bomb stick guys are pretty much... Kamikazes in a way. Oh, those clam guys are getting absolutely wrecked. So I'm thinking that was a terrible idea for a strategy. <laughs> you know, we could do a black beard. We'll do a black beard. Ooh, and a bomb cannon would be really fun. Now, do I expect it to work? No, but the bomb cannons should be able to do a decent amount of damage to those formations. Hold on. They made direct contact with this ship, but unfortunately, <laughs> they threw the boat on them. Okay. There's some frost arrows that have affected them, but with the flying units, we know we're gonna die, because right there is gonna distract this cannon. One's gonna destroy the other, because why freaking not? And the rest is toast. Ooh, toast. All right, three bomb cannons and a bunch of the pirate peasants versus the Viking army. All, did those cannons all explode in the air? That's not what's supposed to happen. Let's see this. I want to fire this. Fire! Oh, okay, so this is what happens when you actually aim where you're supposed to, guys. It works. Well, if that's the way it needs to be done, let's take command. Fire! I think that did pretty good. The reload rate is fantastic. There we go, we got the ship, and now look at this! Oh, we gotta watch out for all those little guys. Don't look that way. Don't worry about him. He's not our problem yet. Oh my god, I got them all. Gotta catch them, uh-huh. Pokemon! I have achieved victory due to splash damage. Okay, this might be my favorite thing. Let's construct a battlefield. Yes, the secret bomb cannon is probably my favorite. So we're gonna arm this ship to the teeth. We are going to put, this is going to be the Italians versus the pirates. Well, the Venetians have just arrived with a full army. They've heard that these pirates got a lot of booty <clears throat> and gold and they want it. So what are they gonna do? They're going to try to seize it. Carpe la booty. Bombs away! <laughs> this is awesome. See, if Tabs was like, I don't know, man, multiplayer or something, and you could play on a ship while it's sailing. Oh my god, guys, guys, we gotta get our our cannons. You guys are really bad at shooting this. Look at look at what I just did. That's what I just did. You guys are terrible. Oh, you're all bunched up. That was a good shot, Billy. Billy, good shot. Billy Bones. Billy Bobby Bones, you're blocking me, shot mate. Fire! <laughs> How many of them are left? Not enough, boys. Although this guy is literally beside himself. All right, there's one left. Two left. I'm good at math. Oh, wait, you? Billy, you freaking imbecile. He shot and hit the little ramp ledge. It blew up and killed us. My goodness. Well, this is going to be interesting. It's a long line of uh, black powder guns and a long line of black powder guns. Who? Whoa. Who's gonna be victorious? Oh, wow. The amount of pirates that got taken out by that is incredible. I think that in terms of black powder, the Italian renaissance here is far more successful because, oh my gosh, there is what? One guy left? He actually, he actually took this one to the chest and did okay. There's two left alive. But look at this, okay. Fire. Fire your shot. He got one. He got one with that blast. And they were even outnumbered by one whole unit. Well, it's 5,000. Okay, we're gonna... 5,000 versus 5,000. So you get five extra blunderbusses. Is it worth it? Probably not. In this type of situation, you'd probably want to use bombardiers, bomb throwers. Those guys are glorious, after all. Actually, this time, they're winning. I, you know what? We might have to do another Tabs tournament to see who the best is. Because right now, on a dollar-to-dollar -dollar basis, they would definitely beat the Musketeers. Granted, we did put them closer, so what if we were to move them back, right? All right, we moved them a little bit back. They get that first shot taken out probably, uh, 30%. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Oh my god, and the amount of them that just drop right there during this, like, bonsai charge. I love this map. It's definitely the best looking one. I wish each faction was given more than one map, and I wish we had a map editor. That would be great. The number of map, like, with a mod editor and a map editor, unit editor, jeez. 
we could do anything we wanted in tabs. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode. Let me know if you'd like to see more and what you'd like to see in the next one. And I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.